keep it on your spread and data should be out here any second all right came out as expected so we got a no trade this morning on this release a no trade so don't expect any excitement around this particular release due to the uh, the no trade but uh, it's not a pretty good morning we had uh, really good deviation on the UK trade and along with that deviation also came some uh, uh, additional data that also confirmed our trade so uh, provided a really really good move had traders take 30 pips and, and then some uh, this morning so take a quick look at the pound again for those that were not in the uh, in the UK release I want to update everyone on the position trades. Uh, as you can see, I took another position at the former highs. It was actually a little bit lower than this. And uh, when, when the news trade came out this morning, my entry in the news trade was the was 39. And um, as the market moved down, I cleared out uh, half of it, then a third of it, and then I decided to switch the position. So I left the last quarter on and cleared out the other position that I had that was part of my position trade just to bring my overall net open up a little higher we did break above the high however we did not open and close and sustain itself uh, above the high so uh, still holding this particular trade uh, this is what you see quite frequently the market will break above a high like this and it'll make a quick run uh, to take out stops you see the market went from 66 62 all the way up to 67 41 so a good 80 pips past the high basically did a lot of stop clearing and uh, then we're seeing a, a pretty good pullback down within the range and uh, I would I'd really like to see the market stay now down below uh, our upper entry uh, if it does happen to work its way back up again as I said in the past I'll look for a day candle to open and close above those former highs before I, I get too concerned 